Aliens, a creative wonder or an existing truth. A humongous universe, trillions of galaxies, yet only one confirmed intelligence. Where are the neighbors? Hi everyone, my name is Aryan, and today I would like all of you to embark on a journey with me across the galaxy, across the universe, to search for aliens. For centuries, humankind has pondered whether those little green beings seem to be either forgiving or punishing in those imaginative minds of movie directors really exist or not. Well, this curiosity has possessed greatly everyone from those little children who are learning about the alphabets to those adults whose lives are almost worn out. But the question we all face is, where do we search for them? Are there planets of a solar system? Are there solar systems of a galaxy? A local neighborhood of galaxies? cluster of neighborhood of galaxies, or the whole universe. Wait, do we even know our universe? This right here is the Hubble Deep Field View. What is so special about it? It is that it contains 10 thousands of different galaxies, which are billions of light years away. And each and every pinpoint in this image is a galaxy. The vastness is mind boggling, but it also assures us a greater possibility of the existence of these green men that we are looking for. We can derive a lot of data from what we can observe, but we really don't know if the universe is completely infinite or not. Hence, we term the universe that we can observe as the observable universe. We know that the whole universe is filled with asteroids, comets, planets, stars, black holes, galaxies, nebulae, etc. But we do not know exactly where each of these exist. Therefore, we have given a cosmic address to the most familiar and prominent space bodies with respect to their surroundings. In fact, the Earth itself has its own cosmic address, which is the Earth, the solar system, Milky Way galaxy, local neighborhood of galaxies, the Virgo supercluster, the Lanarkia supercluster, and the observable universe. The cosmic address of a space body is quite similar and equivalent to the GPS coordinates here on Earth. Well, now we ponder, what exactly are aliens? Well, are aliens some multicolored monstrous creatures or are they small microorganisms? Actually speaking, there could be anything that, which are unusual and unfamiliar to us. In fact, any undiscovered species on Earth could be classified as an alien. But astronomically, we can distinguish between three types, microbial, animal-like and intelligent. The type of life on a planet depends upon the type of conditions the planet has to offer. This can be summed up in one word called habitability. It is a measure of a planet's ability to support life. A planet's habitability depends upon the following conditions. A planet which has a rocky and a solid terrain, an appropriate temperature so as to sustain liquid water on its surface, which is also known as the Goldilocks stone because it's neither too hot nor too cold. Orbiting at least one star in an, at an appropriate distance from it in a smooth elliptical orbit. Presence of hydrogen, oxygen and carbon. Because these are the basic unit for all complex organisms in the universe, as far as we know. An atmospheric layer to protect the planet from solar radiation and UV rays. A suitable magnitude of air pressure. Presence of some form of microbial or animal-like life. A convenient gravitational influence of the star on the planet a composition of air that lacks greenhouse gases and other hazardous gases, an axial tilt which is good enough to support all four seasons as we know. The speed of rotation at the equator is not extremely fast which can shorten a day dramatically. And at last, at least one natural satellite that can ensure the tidal effect and orbit lock of a planet around the star. But we must also keep in mind that this intelligence that we seek is based upon our current understanding of the universe and what it has to offer for life. So as we research and excavate more factors related to intelligent life in the universe, we legitimately understand ourselves and how we were formed even better. In fact, in 1977, when Voyager 1 and 2 were launched to study and image the outer planets of a solar system, as well as the interstellar medium, NASA was aware of the possibilities of any space spacefarers coming in contact with these interstellar probes, as Voyager 1 exited the termination shock region of our solar system back in 2012. So considering this launched and leaded by Carl Sagan, two golden records were produced which contain information of the human civilization in all forms of songs, videos, pictures, symbols, and many more. It also had engravings of how a human looked like, our solar system design, the hydrogen atom symbol since it is the most abundant ele element in the universe, 
and the voice of the children from different nationalities, including our location in the universe. Currently, these two probes are the furthest man-made objects with 22 billion kilometers for Voyager 1 and 18 billion kilometers for Voyager 2 from the Earth. Provided the probes do not face any destructive obstacles in their path, the golden records can survive for billions of years long after we are gone, giving possibly and potentially a hint to other civilizations that humans once existed. So our main objective now is to search for a cosmic address which has good habitability. We have found out many planets with a few impressive conditions due to the grace of the Kepler Space Telescope, which is right here. For example, Kepler 452b, Proxima Centauri b, Bernard Star b, Ross 128b, Kepler 26b, and thousands of other exoplanets confirmed by the Kepler Space Telescope. Although these are some of the nearest habitable planets on the grand scale, they are still far away with respect to what humans can potentially achieve. For example, reaching this Proxima Centauri b, which is approximately 4.24 light years away from Earth, at the speed of our fastest space probe, the Parker Solar Probe of 246,960 km per hour, will take approximately 18,000 years, just one way to get there. This is a challenge we face in a sea of challenges. However, we can tackle these challenges with united efforts and with a little patience. Humankind has always been gazing at the stars, and the only fuel which keeps these, this tradition alive is that of curiosity. In fact, these wonders of whether there's, whether there's any other intelligence out there or not has brewed our curiosity for centuries and will continue to do so. Concludingly, my friends, I leave you with a question. Where are the neighbours? Thank you and I sign out.